Disasters have a widespread impact on our world, affecting nearly 2 billion people and causing over $1 trillion in damage between 2005 and 2014 alone. With these staggering statistics, we know how essential rapid response is, especially in the first 24 hours following a disaster. Yet damaged infrastructure often makes it nearly impossible to deliver the help that is needed when it is needed the most. That's where space comes in. I'm Rick Ambrose, Chair of the Global Agenda Council for Space of the World Economic Forum and Executive Vice President for Lockheed Martin Space Systems. With the capabilities of multiple space technologies, we can help bridge the gap and transform humanitarian missions. With imaging satellites, we can provide before and after imagery to help assess the severity and extent of the damage, identifying where help is urgently needed. And because of the capabilities of radar satellites, we can even provide this situational awareness when clouds or darkness are obscuring the disaster area. GPS satellites can help responders and victims find one another quickly, thanks to their precise locations being embedded in digital maps. In areas where communications networks are either absent or damaged, communication satellites can deliver reliable connectivity. And with the help of weather satellites that monitor severe storms, the people who are in harm's way can have enough time to evacuate, while those responders and victims who are sheltering in place can stay safe with the satellite's ongoing monitoring of hazards. While all of this data is currently available, how do we get this valuable information to disaster response teams in an integrated, usable form? The answer is help now. The Global Agenda Council for Space is developing this free, open source web tool that will allow responders to rapidly match the needs of disaster victims with the resources they must have to survive and assist in a full recovery. With help now, responders can see where they should go, understand what is needed and where, and know what resources are currently available and how to deliver them with speed and precision. And by allowing victims to also access help now on their smartphones, they have the ability to know where they can go for food and shelter, update responders on the current conditions they're observing, and connect with loved ones. With this crucial technology, we have the ability to save thousands of lives and get the victims of disasters back on their feet faster than ever. Help Now is the powerful next step in our journey to unlocking the incredible potential of space and improving the lives of all humankind.